the 2nd of April. I'm starting slightly early today, but of course you can watch this at any time. And I know a lot of people don't watch this live anyway. Today we've got a couple of Psalms, reading from John's Gospel, uh, and we are now moving into Passion Tide, um, which is all about uh, the time when Jesus sets his face to die for us on the cross, and all that he has to go through in order to achieve that. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his house of prayer. My soul waits for the Lord, more than the watchman waits for the moon, more than the watchman waits for the moon. I will wait for the Lord and in my soul waits, and in his word do I hope. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. As we behold your Son enthroned on the cross, stir us up in the fire of your love, that we may be cleansed from our sins and walk with you in newness of life singing the praise of him who died for us and for our salvation. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 140. Deliver me, O Lord, from evildoers, and protect me from the violent, who devise evil in their hearts and stir up strife all the day long. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent, and as poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Protect me from the violent who seek to make me stumble. The proud have laid a snare for me and spread out a net of cords. They have set traps along my path. I have said to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, O Lord, to the voice of my supplication. O Lord God, the strength of my salvation. You have covered my head in the day of battle. Do not grant the desires of the wicked, O Lord. Do not prosper their wicked plans. Let not those who surround me lift up their heads. Let the evil of their own lips fall upon them. Let hot burning coals rain upon them. Let them be cast into the depths that they rise not again. No slanderer shall prosper on the earth, and the evil shall hunt down the violent to overthrow them. I know that the Lord will bring justice for the oppressed and maintain the cause of the needy. Surely the righteous will give thanks to your name, and the upright shall dwell in your presence. Psalm 141. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I call to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers, nor taste the pleasures of their table. Let the righteous smite me in friendly rebuke, but let not the oil of the unrighteous anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. Let their rulers be overthrown in stony places. Then may they know that my words are sweet. As when a plough turns over the earth in furrows, let their bones be scattered at the mouth of the pit. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Do not leave me defenceless. Protect me from the snare which they have laid for me, and from the traps of the evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets, while I pass by in safety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
John chapter 11, beginning at verse 17. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away. Many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had, not, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask. Martha said to him, sorry, Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who believes and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you're the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's always worth noting because there's another story, of course, about Martha and Mary, where Mary is sitting at Jesus' feet, which was better than Martha dashing around and getting over flustered about the catering. But this time, you notice that Martha's gone out to Jesus and she has brought forth wonderful statements of faith. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Christ committed no sin, no guile was found on his lips. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. By his wounds, you have been healed. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ my left and my right. This day be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. This night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. With all authority, gentle and intimacy, Christ, our identity. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, uh, sorry, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort and restore me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger. Christ in the hearts of all that love me, Christ in mouth of friend and stranger, this night be within and without me, lowly and meek, yet all powerful. So as we come to prayer this evening, let's pray for the United Nations that it might be an effective instrument of peace in the world. And we pray for the peacemakers now as they seek to find a resolution to this horrible conflict between Russia and the Ukraine. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of nations that they may be given knowledge, wisdom and understanding in the pursuit of the good of all their peoples, so that they may live in peace within their frontiers and with other nations. We pray that there'll be no repetition of the warlike activities of Russia we pray for the cessation of violence in areas of civil war and places where terrorists are right. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peoples displaced by war or persecution or poverty that they may be given courage and find a hope, a welcome and a future. Especially pray for the four million who have recently been displaced from Ukraine and all those who have spent 
many months or even years in refugee camps uh, across the world, that they might be moved to a better place and stuck where they are. And Lord Jesus, we remember that a number of people have migrated across the world, not because of war, but in the hope of finding a better future for themselves or for their children. We pray that you'll grant us grace to do all that we can to make the world a better place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We remember those who are especially on our hearts and minds this day. Heal the sick. Bring peace to the afflicted. Mend broken hearts and broken relationships. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So as to move towards the end of evening prayer this evening, we speak over the communities in which we live. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your walls, but you will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. Amen, so be it, O Lord. But faith, hope, and love will abound, and our lives will be known by joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen, so be it, O Lord. Then this district will bring me renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth to hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. Amen. So be it, O Lord. Most merciful God, who by the death and resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, delivered and saved the world, grant that by faith in him who suffered on the cross, we may triumph in the power of his victory. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen standing at the foot of the cross, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think Elaine and I will both be back with you on Monday at five o'clock, and I shall hopefully be with Paul Waller on Monday morning at nine o'clock. The Lord bless your Sunday. Bye for now.